Hi, Jigar here. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the Precision Series Limiter. So, let's look at the controls. The first knob from the left is Input Gain. The ceiling or threshold is in the middle and the Output Gain or Attenuation on the right side. Three push button switches are FET Type, Controls Link and Bypass. The input control allows for 10 dB of gain before hitting the ceiling or threshold, set by the ceiling knob. The range of the ceiling setting is between plus 10 and plus 22 dBU, which is already 4 dB over the clipping point of the AD converter at the end of the chain. This allows for a combination of limiting and soft clipping the Burl Mothership AD inputs. The output control in the controls unlinked mode allows for fine tuning the stereo balance, because the actual FET transistors doing the limiting are sometimes not completely matched due to temperature fluctuations. You can also use the output controls to induce or avoid the AD stage clipping. The two types of FET transistors provide two different limiting characteristics, with the MOSFET being a bit more aggressive sounding and with more odd order harmonics, and the JFET being warmer with more even order harmonics. For a quick start, I recommend setting the ceiling to around plus 15 dBU, adjusting the input level to get the desired level of peak reduction, and using the output control to adjust the level hitting the AD converter. And that's pretty much it. This is how the Precision Series Limiter works. If you have any more questions about it or Mix Analog in general, leave them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. Subscribe here or follow us on Facebook if you want to see more tutorials and videos about Mix Analog. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye!